wanted to talk about a few terms and how to associate them with the different types of anemia. Um, we have hypochromic microcytic anemia. So we think of hypo as being low, micro as being small. Um, this is describing cells that are um, small, pale, and this is a black iron. Uh, so iron deficiency anemia, hypochromic, microcytic. We know um, that Commonly, we might see this one in children because they're growing fast, right? They have increased iron needs. So I think of children as being low, short, small, micro, hypochromic, microcytic, iron deficiency anemia. Want to associate those together. Then our other anemias we have are dealing with B12 deficiencies and folate deficiencies. And um, we know B12 is needed in the body to basically convert folic acid into a form we can use. So if we don't have B12, then that folic acid is just going to sit there. Um, so kind of knowing that relationship between those, because um, we have our um, megaloblastic anemia, which we're going to see a folate or B12 deficiency. We have macrocytic also with B12 and folate. Um, our per pernicious anemia, that's going to be specifically a B12 deficiency, lack of intrinsic factor or the um, gastric juices to absorb that. So I want us to think megaloblastic, macrocytic with our B12 and our folate um, because we know B12 is going to make our cells, you know, be large. So they're not going to be able to condense like they need that um, B12 to condense those cells. So that's how I remember those. Um, hopefully that is helpful in remembering your terms for describing your anemias or the cells um, and remembering too the mean corpuscular volume is high as well as the hemoglobin. Mean corpuscular hemoglobin is high in those megaloblastic or macrocytic anemias.